2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the RBC Canadian Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group. Thanks, Luke. Hi, Rich. Yeah, there will be fireworks out there today. Let me tell you, these two players have been going back and forth at each other on social media. They have something to prove out on this golf course today. No, filled with talent is Lexi Thompson. This is going to be a tight tussle. I can't wait to see how this one plays out. Oh, that's frustrating. He currently shares fourth position. Rich, the second hole here at St George's Golf and Country Club, a long, strong par four. It is just around the 475 yard mark. This fairway does slope significantly left to right, so the drives can easily find that fairway bunker down the right hand side. Good sounding strike, that one. That was a beauty. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Just three feet to the cup. He's got this for his par. Opting for the six iron. Woo, back there, horsey. Nicely done. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this putt 22 feet from the cut. He was on a good line. And this putt coming up for his par. And with that, he'll stay right there at even par. The first of the par fives is the fourth hole, Rich. Yes, this hole used to be a par four, but was extended back in 1968 for the Canadian Open. It's a nice opportunity here to get a stroke back after the opening three holes. But watch out, this fairway gets tough to find with the slope that moves it from right to left. Landing area gets very narrow. Is that what they had in mind? Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. Well done. That takes the pressure off the putt. That's a chip to be proud of. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. The fifth hole at St. George's is a par four, Rich. It is. It plays downhill into a valley that kind of moves away from the tee box. So you should see players hit it down there with some distance, leaving a short second shot. a boy. Good shot. This shot from 120 yards. Just one stroke back and right in it. Wonderfully played. Sadly hasn't made a putt all day. Hopefully that can change here. Oh, so close. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. So, no movement on the leaderboard there, remaining at even overall. Looks to be going with the six iron. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And that will take him to one under. Next up is this two-shot hole. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? He's got roughly 105 yards here. This would be a great up and down. And that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. Rich, the eighth hole, uh, par three here at St. George's. What a great looking hole it is. Wow, this is a really cool little par three. The green is not very wide, but it funnels in from both sides. However, you just can't afford to miss it short left in that bunker. That is a huge no no. And at the end of that hole, he's gone into clear outright leader. Oh, exciting times on the tee of a par five. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. Opting for the five iron. That's inside the house of opportunity. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. This is buckets. A birdie putt awaits. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. 
Well, Luke, it's been fun watching this player duke it out with their rival, that's for sure. They're winning the rivalry thus far. Should be fun to see where these two end up at the end of the event. And here we are with the third shot. Currently leading by two. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. The first of the back nine par fives is the 11th. In this hole we could call what, serpentine maybe, Luke? Yeah, that's what we're gonna go with. However, don't get bit and leave it short right in that bunker off the tee, because you will be rattled. Outstanding shot, high quality. Eight feet to the cup. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Still in the lead now after that hole. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Feeling awfully good coming off an eagle at the last. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Time for the second shot at the 12th. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Leading by four strokes after that one. Looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. Going with the six iron here. Well played, mate. What have they got in front of them here, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. This is what they have left for birdie here. Ooh, right by the hole. Good chance, this one, right on six feet. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. Currently six under for the round. Time to see what this par four has in store. Not sure if they got that one flush. This might not find the fairway. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. Putting for birdie. Ouch, that hurts. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently six under for the event. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Playing from around 240 yards. Going with a three wood here. Hope it gets a good kick to the left. You love watching people play the game when it's like this. It looks so easy. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Going with the five iron here. A bit wild on approach there. Lots of greens and regulation today for this player, Luke. This is a surprise missing this one. Getting ready to play their third. These are good putts to make, good for momentum, right on seven feet. Well, the leader giving a little hope for the rest of the field there as they put down a bogey on the scorecard. Couple of strong par fours to finish here at Stanley Thompson's masterpiece, St. George's. Very good par four, the 17th. It is, it started off as a par five and now just plays as an enormous par four. Fairway does camber pretty good from right to left, so you gotta challenge that bunker down the right-hand side off the tee. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Taking things up a notch in this Lexi Thompson rivalry, that shot will add some fuel to the fire. This one's for birdie. You know, it's not if you make bogeys, it's how you respond. Well done. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. The finishing hole at St George's Golf and Country Club Rich is a strong par four. 
It certainly is that. It was originally a par five as well. It's converted to a long par four to make it a little bit more challenging for the Canadian Open. Plays uphill all the way to a steep green. And the beauty of this hole, Luke, is the magnificent clubhouse in the background. Well, all that hard work, it's time to pay it off. Make this for the tournament.